what's happening with next semester We wish it give a clue, can't you see? Mr. P, that we don't know what to do Mr. Presbo, I sure think you've dropped the ball. My family contribution tripled from last fall. Financial aid won't write me back. Are my emails going through? Don't you know? Mr. Bo, that some answers are overdue. Dear Columbia community, I hope this speech finds you well. It is with somber solemnity that we hope you are adjusting to the complexities of this new uncharted reality. Now these times are uncertain. Uh, but by inclination in the sheer march of time, we must redirect our intentions in light of this new extraordinary period. We've embraced our new world together separately, but now it's time to embrace our new world together together. <laughs> it's time to set a new rhythm of life, to address the elephant in the room. Yes, we did receive your emails. We did not read the petitions. In light of these unprecedented challenges, um, we have come up with a brand new initiative that we believe will address your concerns and help rebuild our shattered board science community. What could it be? I can only imagine. Free metro cards or even tuition cards. Only what could it be? It's time to hear their decision. So what could it be? What could it be? What can it, what can it be? What will it be? What will it be? Without further ado, Josh. <laughs> this is your line? No, did you not open the attachment? Speech to students, version 5, final, actual, final, dot, doc, x. Still your line. <laughs> Fine. Well, um, the businesses around Morningside Heights, you know them, you love them. Well, they've been, how should we put it, bad. Bad. Not good. And you students, you students have been also so bad. Terrible. So, um, given that <laughs> we, your friendly neighborhood Columbia administrators, are launching a new program that will hire students to serve as brand ambassadors for local businesses. Now, all you have to do is wear t-shirts with their logo on them and use your personal social media following to build their clout. And, of course, represent them in our inaugural Battle of the Brands competition. You'll compete for some fabulous prizes. This is the coolest thing ever. Zena, you have answered my intergalactic Wait, wait, wait. You haven't even heard the good part. In return for helping out our local businesses... You get money? <laughs> That's right. Moolah, baby. Dunny Rose Fritos. 
Oh, where is it coming from? <laughs> Who cares? Who knows? Nothing matters because everybody wins. Oh, finally, the perfect policy. That sounds totally normal and reasonable. I can do that. I love you, sweet Green and Joe's. More than anyone knows, a better company I'll never find. I've been searching for some cheer to redeem my shitty year, and your brand is just a thing I had in mind. The burly bouncers at Mel's, Diggins' vigorous smells, the heights and Gen Z I can't get enough. I can barely keep my calm, oh Chipotle Italiano. There's nothing more than I'd adore than to strike your stuff. Pick me, pick me, don't, don't be, be so impressed. impressed. I'll represent your company with zeal and zest. Pick me, hey, pick, pick, me, pick me, and see how I shine when this golden opportunity of yours is mine. AJ, this is like exactly what we've been waiting for. Yeah, it's like the easiest gig in the world. <laughs> Look around, AJ. Do you see anyone in the hall doing this? Wait, the, the hall? Oh, yeah, say days. I forgot to tell you, I'm pledging this semester. What? You didn't tell me that. You should do this, though. It looks like a great opportunity. Oh, sure, goes you all looking chic. So gorgeous and great. And how I dream of your dumplings, Lasalle. Got the hots for you, Jen Ramin. Your soup is a phenomenon. Cronies. How's the interpretive dance on the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory? It's well, thank you. How's your inevitable decline into irrelevancy? St. Anthony Hall is excellent. Thank you for your concern. I can't help but notice, Raindrop, a few of your artists seem to be indulging in the American consumerist fantasy. Well, I can't help but notice, Sebastian, that a few of your members are ugly. I'm sorry. I'm sure they're actually very nice looking. AJ, what's the deal with the Satanist thing? Molly won me over yesterday. They have a ton of connections in the finance industry. She's gonna help me get in. Come on, AJ, this isn't the time to mess around. <laughs> I'm not messing around. I put a lot of thought into this. You go ahead, though. Quick, before the good brands run out. <laughs> Pick me. Pick me, Excuse me, it's true, I'm the best uh -uh. Cause all the other students here are dumb or depressed Pick me, pick me, and screw all these snakes here My voice over there hissing, or you won't know what you're missing So pick no way to know how we're gonna survive On the strange new boat ahead We can't afford to just sit and wait My help. Consider me your walking, talking version of Yelp. Pick me, pick me. Let's speed up the stakes so I'm a machine. If I see me through, I'll move all of my dreams and do them. Let's go pick someone who will never have a stream. And some may say I'm selling, but I do know what they say. We shall be me. How about Blue Bot? Mm, this girl in my macro class has that. Uh, Blue Java? Uh, taken. At the brand fair? Mm. Damn it. Blue Box. What? Oh, oh, here we go. Congregation from Moth Aura. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, Moses, Prince of Egypt. Oh, stop. S stop and shop. Hi. My name is Butler Security Guard Perry Louise. It should be noted I have type 1 juvenile diabetes. Excuse me, you know what, I'm sorry, you, you need to leave, okay? The stacks oh, well, are closed. It's 2 o'clock and I work here. Well, so do I, okay? You are not special. Oh, okay, what time is it? Excuse me, I need to go take my insulin, but we will talk later. Um. <laughs> Where were we? Oh. Dude, I found the perfect one for you. Oh uh, yeah? What's that? Zemog and Reltub Contractors Incorporated. It's near McBay. Oh, wow. Thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> so, you'll do it? 
Oh, come on. Zemog and Relative Contractors Incorporated. Oh, you make a very compelling argument, but alas. Alas what? It's not for me. But you should give it a shot. Damn, Molly's really gotten to you. You're seriously pledging St. A's? Mm, yep, so, you know, I gotta give off that. I've never worked for anything in my life vibe. They can't even know I have a regular job, which is why I got this work study hiding in the sacks. You're gonna figure out you're not rich, AJ. You can't keep up this charade for the rest of your life. Mm, I don't know, maybe not. Well, definitely not if I have to sell my body to Pret a manger you or really something. Think get the pet sponsorship. <laughs> this is serious. Molly's always talking about all these crazy connections I'll get from Satan. <laughs> connections I'll get from St. A's. can't sacrifice all of these just to make a quick buck. I'm not looking for a wad of cash to pay. Okay, DKA dudes. is a professional <laughs> cinematic society. Okay, it's... okay, okay, fine. But you need quick cash and I need real stability. <laughs> hey, so do I. <laughs> Oliver, your parents pay your student contribution. Wait, 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 go back a sec. Did you just say Pret wouldn't sponsor me? Mm, no way. Remember that time you, you spilled all their dressing packets on the floor and stepped on them? Okay, that was an accident. <laughs> sure, keep telling yourself that. Oh, uh, what? If you're really pledging, don't you have to go to that weird outdoor dinner thing I keep seeing flyers for tonight? Are you gonna spill dressing on them too? Ugh, oh, go away. I need to finish shelving these so I can leave. Fine, but... Be careful what you wish for, freak. And good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. I haven't got the luxury of taking the easy street. It's a long, long road to stability. Can't afford to stop till I play my feet. When I'm at the top. I'll stand on solid ground I won't have to worry And I won't get pushed around Cash to drop, corks to pop Days when I can just relax Lunch and prep, no more debt Toodle loot to butler stacks When I'm at the top Some heads are gonna spin Watch out one percenters There's a new girl moving in Time to quit, shelving shit Catch me cruising on my yacht Time to live Time to give it everything I've got Gonna be a self-made millionaire I know the road is hard to see But somewhere there's a path for me Self-made millionaire These bootstraps got a lot of work to do Other people sit me down Say, AJ, take it slow Yeah, that's a guy Gonna run, dreaming till the day I die. Gotta prove, gotta prove how high I can fly. Gonna be a self made millionaire. And though the road is hard to see, I know that there's a path for me. Self made millionaire. I'm moving on from where I am, so look ahead and there I am. And nothing's gonna stop me till I
What do you get for the girl that has everything? Well, for starters, you can get a stand and rib roast for $13 a pound at Westside Market. Hello, I'm Douglas Mezzo Soprano, GS21, here to tell you all about the incredible deals that Westside has for you and your sweetheart. Does your lady like the ocean? Bring her home a filet of Pacific halibut for $12.32 a pound. Is your dame looking for a level of emotional commitment you're just not ready to give? A slice of chocolate cake from our award-winning bakery will scream, Janine, I've, I've made a terrible mistake. Will you please call me back? Okay. Oh, uh, so, so, okay. So come into Westside Market today and find your baby doll something that will make her come back from her parents' house in Long Island. Every month is West Pride Month. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, are you going to this thing? Oh, no, sorry. I'm actually meeting my other girlfriend. I met her on Hinge. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> are you nervous? No, I was actually hoping to humiliate us both so you'll break up with me. The sooner the better. Silence, imbecile! Um, but for real, this dinner is nothing to be worried about. I'm not. I'm not worried. I think you might be a little worried, but don't be. Wait, just making sure. You didn't get a brand, did you? No, of course not. You told me not to. Oliver's still looking, though, I think. Okay, well, we gotta keep that on the low, low. <laughs> like the library. <laughs> Now you're making me nervous. Don't be. They're gonna love you. Take a breath and hold my hand. Everything is gonna be alright. Seems you're more unsure than you've ever been. Don't be. I don't think you understand how you're gonna wow them all tonight. AJ, if you're worried, you won't fit in. Don't be. Will they, like, buy it? Is this mine? Maybe. It's perfect. You look great. All you can do now is follow me. Remember, no one in the hall calls it same A's. It's just the hall. Or when in doubt, just shut your yucky little troll mouth. Molly, what the fuck? Why did you tell us to meet you here? It's subterranean. Yeah, just like a sauna. Oh, this is my girlfriend AJ. She's pledging. Oh, I remember when I first came out. At the 2016 debutante ball at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. AJ, this is Veronica. <laughs> I'm an air hogger. This is our old buddy's lad, finally back stateside. The Dulby A program between Columbia University and Sciences Po offers the opportunity to immerse yourself in two distinct academic environments. A French rural pastoral, agrarian, bucolic, idyllic, very beautiful setting, and the research university in New York City, which is nice. Oh, don't touch him. He's, uh, he's feral. I'm Sebastian Buttigieg, no relation, class of 2021, son of Algernon Buttigieg, class of 1978. The pleasure is all mine. Not to be gauche, but I feel like I sort of know everyone who's anyone around here. AJ, I've never seen you at the Union Club before. Why is that? Oh, uh, I usually go to Hewitt. It reminds me of Exeter. Hewitt is an excellent choice. My father used to run the catering before he was forcibly ousted. Oh, you're Veronica Aramark. Alas, the Aramark name has lost its luster. As of late, I'm just Veronica now. She's just bitter that none of these plebs will accept the Aramark sponsorship on account of the human rights violations and all. Meanwhile, half the senior colloquium on the financial crisis of 2007 has been sending us outlawed mango jewel pods by the barrel, so Sebastian will give them his daddy's internship at Bridgewater. AJ is an econ major, too. Oh, 
Excellent. And you said you're pledging, right? Oh, we do like to keep it in the family. Ladies and gentlemen. Watch now! The next train will depart in approximately three minutes. What is this? Forgive me. That is a picture of my horse. AJ, are you kidding me? We talked about this. Come on, I haven't got my paycheck yet. I'll swipe twice next time. It doesn't matter. Babe, I told you I'd just buy you the monthly. I'm not getting into this again. No. AJ, what if they had seen you? Okay, but they didn't. They didn't. Come on. We're gonna miss the train. Okay. Tonight is going to be really good. Oh, you're so cute. You're giving me baby fever. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I love you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. I know it was short notice, but I can't help but notice that capitalism has really been prevailing on campus recently. Needless to say, this makes me sick. However, I also view this as an opportunity. The Columbia Performance Art Collective has been trying to make a name for itself on this campus for a long time time. This is our year, friends. So, <laughs> with that in mind, I would like to invite us to merge our spirits together for the next 45 seconds, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what we come up with collectively. <clears throat> I'll begin. Columbia, University, here is the tea. It's a for-profit entity. Eating our wages, living wages, grad student union? Why did we kill Saddam Hussein? Neoconservatism. Neoconservatism. Lit hum books cost money. Save book culture from itself. Ooh. Ooh. Capitalism runs rampant. Who built the learner ramps? Uncle Sam did. Uncle Adam Smith did. Mercantilism, laissez-faire. More disgusting than the Renaissance Fair? C-A-P-I-T-A-L-I-S-M. G-T-F-O. Just say no to drugs. Liar. Liar! Liar! Nancy Reagan. No. 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 Carl Sagan? Maybe. 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 Bring me to our leader, rain drop, drop, top, top of his class. In beginning fiction workshop. We have to stand. No. 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 We choose to stand. Give us our plan. Take down the man. Hear me out, I've thought this one through. I could play my didgeridoo, cause an upset in 209. That's called Orgo Night, get back in line. If we're sick of overpriced shows, we could swap the beans, I suppose. Paint a latte has a nice ring. Shut your face, you don't know anything. I'm noticing a group of rhetorical paralysis. I'm here to help a dupe and give historical analysis. Let's study Mr. Stalin and follow his criteria. Let's hold this opposition off and send them to some period. It's time to, time to eat the rich, chomp and chew and swallow. Time to, time to eat the rich, order tea to follow. Put your
your heads together cause we're in a diet stitch. Quick, we're running out of time. Mama's hungry. Eat the rich. From the comfort of your own room, we could public shame the monsoon. Soon we'll have their heads on a pipe. Only if you'll swear to mute your mic. What if we explode on the scene? We could send a package to we when they open up our surprise. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're nonviolent guys. So we want to take a stand against the pampered and patrician Us performers have to ban against unhampered acquisition The submission of the rich is as easy as presto A magician or a witch can enforce the manifesto Cassius post quam clementi onulum sum tri It's time to eat the rich, not even a question Time to eat the rich, good for the digestion Booty pigs and roasted pigs, we can't tell which are which Who said bacon was a crime? No forced relocation. Come on, you guys. I don't have all night. I have a weapons of mass destruction take home midterm. What about we just steal some shit from, hmm, I don't know. My arch nemesis, Sebastian. Sebastian again? Is this personal? No, you encephalitic bovine. Sebastian Buttigieg is a capitalist scumbag. And guess what? He runs St. A's. So shame on you for doubting my intentions. Yeah, shame. Shame, 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 shame on you. Thank you. No, that's right. If you were a dirty capitalist Scumbag, what would you love and cherish more than anything in the world? My children? No! No, god damn it, no! My okay. Canada Goose jacket. No! Wait! Actually, that's not terrible. Please hold. I'm visualizing. Step one. We spend 30 years gradually digging a tunnel into their mansion. Please don't shame me, please don't shame me, but maybe we could just go to their open party this Friday? I've heard it's tuberculosis ward themed. Oh, <laughs> very good, Drought. Now, step two. We raid their coat rack and take <laughs> their jackets hostage. Ooh, sexy. Huzzah. Yes. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. A coup de grace. Using the stolen Canada Goose jackets, we devise an anti Saint A's performance art extravaganza, the likes of which these decadent Colombians will never forget. Out among the palaces on Riverside Stands the mighty mansion where our foes reside When off to war we go with only me in the lead Remember to recite this creed Time to, Time to eat the rich Chop and chew and swallow Time to, Time to eat the rich Soon the world will follow Cut off the cats when our plan goes up without a hit We'll set a savory paradigm And now let's eat the rich Welcome to introduction to professional golf. I, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Shh. He went to the Olympics. They don't even have golf at the Olympics. A little bit about me. At one time, I was the presumptive champion of the 2012 Masters Tournament at the Augusta National Golf Club. But as they were preparing to dress me in the celebratory green jacket, it was tragically discovered that on the 13th hole I had 
picked up my ball and thrown it directly at the hole, disqualifying me immediately from the competition. Uh, that's enough about me. Now, why are you pursuing the great art of golf? My friend wanted me to learn to play so we could mingle with polite company. Mm, uh, I am the friend. Sorry, Coach jean -Paul G, how many absences do we get? Six? Eleven? A hundred? Zero! Also known as the ideal score in golf. Now, please practice while I go shine my club. Hey, what the fuck, dude? You're gonna hit someone. Technically, that's not against the rules. Oh, any luck with the brands? Uh, I tried to apply for the New York Public Library, but they asked me my favorite book. And? Well, I panicked and said Wreck-It Ralph. But next I've got Santander Bank and the unnamed liquor store on 125th. Ah, the Ensop liquor store. How was your dinner last night? Oh, it was good. Yeah? Your, your talking points went okay? Mm, didn't need them. Turns out rich people talk about regular things. Then why the fuck are we picking Arkham? <laughs> Dude, I might be getting really good at golf. Watch my trick shot. Um, actually, can I tell you something? Something kind of bad happened on the way to the whole dinner. You're kidding me. Uh, yeah, I really thought that plan was airtight. Come on. Fine, tell me. Okay, so I jumped the turnstile, as usual, right? And Molly kind of freaked out at me for it. It led to this whole fight. Shit, dude. It wasn't anything serious. She was just upset. Because her friends could have seen. It made me kind of nervous, though. Yeah, that, that sounds really stressful. It, it is. One slip and it's all over. You know, AJ, this plane is starting to seem like more trouble than it's worth. I just don't think you understand how important the hall is for my future. You understand. We go to Colombia. The, the day we got in was the most important day of our lives. We're going to be successful no matter what. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to say. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just really need these opportunities, okay? Oh my god, you're going to fail golf. <laughs> hey, 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 guess what? I think I might already have a shot at one of those secret rich people opportunities. Really? Damn, that, that was fast. Mm, get this. The president's dad works for motherfucking Bridgewater. Bridgewater? Fuck yeah, boy. Get that rich white guy bread. For catch your baby. <laughs> Oliver, when I'm very, very rich, I'm going to buy you a window that faces the outside. So... In this fantasy, I'm, I'm still living in McBain. Yes, you live in McBain in all my fantasies. Go! Ah, oh, a prodigy! I learned from the best. Now for some, some self-care. No! You may not disrespect the club in this way. I will be counting you absent for the day. I, the week! dropping this class, right? Oh, absolutely. This is kind of fun, though. Wait, dude, you have to come to the CNA's party with me and Molly tonight. No way. Every time she sees me, she says I look like Dwight D. Eisenhower. Well, that's not a good reason not to like her. Okay, well, I, I just don't, okay? That's messed up. Listen, I just happen to believe you're, you're fine the way you are. Good, even. <laughs> What does that have to do with anything? I don't like how she's asking you to behave a certain way or, like, risk exile from a friend group you're, you're not even in. Well, that's the entire point. I'm trying to get in. I just don't want you to become, like, them. Well, I have to. Well, I hate them. <laughs> yeah, that's great, Oliver. I don't even want to be your friends, AJ. Friends like you, like you, you.
and they might get you an internship this summer. Dude, I've got your back for life. If I've learned a thing from the study of film, I've learned that friends should always trust each other. Think Frodo and Sam, think Ferris and Cam, they trusted the other like a brother. Could Thelma have gone without Louise, or Timon without Pumbaa? AJ, please, they were better together, wouldn't you agree? Everybody needs a buddy, a permanent pal who will always be there. Everybody needs somebody to sit by your side and get in your head. Smiles and frowns through the ups and downs, and that's what friends are for. With you as my buddy, who could ask for more? Remember that time when they banned us from Strokos Or when we both had breakdowns in Blue Java Remember when I drank too many Four Locos And all you could say was Don't, Don't call, call Kava. Kava Keeping in line for Broadway ticks Watching the Nets destroy the Knicks When you think of the fun we've had to Can't you see? Everybody needs a buddy for seeing the sights or taking a drink with everybody needs somebody to slack and see and yakking McBain with when life is boring when you're ignoring the friend who's meant for you. So count on your buddy, he counts on you too. Someone more important than just a partner in crime A friend is someone you can trust to be there for you All the time Everybody needs a buddy Who will finish your frisbee at Surf, Turf and Earth Everybody Need somebody who knows you're enough and shows what you're worth. Other people can say you have to change to go far, but a buddy will say to stay the way you are. This is cringe culture. No. We are cringe culture. Remember when we cyberbullied the little Lexian society together? Good time. Good time. Everybody needs a buddy. Come rain or come shine, whatever the weather. Everybody needs somebody. Amigo, it's clear that we go together. Smiles and frowns through the ups and downs. to Cecilia's C22, reading for the part of Stroko's E-Girl number two. <coughs> hey guys, just wanted to let you know that I am now selling my navy bean bathwater soup on Etsy for $30 a cup. Get it quick, Sams. I don't see that in the script. <coughs> Sandwiches, toasted, radical honesty. We cater for yours. Special occasions, contemporary eatery with perspective. Omelets, only eight seventy-five. See you at Strokos. Did you write that yourself? Yes, I'm getting into character. 
What character? You know, actually, my girlfriend is Strokos. Aw, that's nice. Yeah, we started talking in the smoothie line. She's a demonic entity. What? Oh, it was a total meat cute. We both ordered the berry banana burst. Wait, you said- She's beautiful? Yeah, she's a demonic entity that's existed for thousands of years, but so smart too. Majoring in both math and classics. Can you go back to the part where- I mean, without a neighborhood place like Strokos, we would have never met. When I look into her eyes, there's nothing there. Thank you, Strokos. Strokos. No jokos. No hokos pokos. One day I went into the wrong apartment and I didn't notice for two days. Weren't there people in there? Uh, yes. <laughs> Has anyone arrived yet? My metaphysics of time class ran over by eight hours. Actually, no one has arrived. Also, I think we're down a butler. Okay, so imagine for a minute how this makes me and my ancestors look. Welcome. I flyered, emailed, I said I'm giving free guitar lessons. See, Bass, it's only ten. They're still applying their lotions. This cannot be another hula night. Last time we were stuck eating leftover suckling pig for weeks. Do not speak ill of Alexander Ham Bell. His <laughs> roasted flesh was succulent and savory. Butler did an excellent job with the spit roast. I thought it was an excellent party. I, uh, hula till dawn. It, it, it was an embarrassment. Uh, none of my old chode buddies, chodes, if you will, even showed up. It was just the common riffraff, ooing and aahing at the chandelier. I suppose they did. Spill my key for my cafe. Exactly. The people we should be associating with don't want anything to do with us. Fellows, tell me, is it woke? To be powerful? Is it woke to be wealthy? Yes! No! <laughs> and that's the problem. Everyone wants to be woke. Everyone wants to gain clout and look swole. I chewed off my egg nail and now my finger is swole. In the real world, we're just as powerful as we've ever been. And yet here it seems we now exist solely to be the butt of wasp jokes. Just because I'm a white man from Connecticut who enjoys a good boat shoe, reaps the benefits of inherited wealth, and has a familial history of casual substance abuse, does not mean I am a wasp. In fact, I'm allergic to wasps. Well, Columbia Confession, one time I thought your EpiPen was a flavor wise. We get no respect. It's an embarrassment. My father said it's an embarrassment that the drawing room gave me asbestos poisoning. Amen, sister. I have consumption. <laughs> Silence. If tonight goes well, we'll have plenty of new membership dues to spruce the place up with. What are you going to do with a zoo, Sebastian? I'm going to shoot an animal. No, you will not. We can finally afford to restuff the pillows. Ah, the clock chimes 10.15. Your white cloth, sir. Thank you, Butler Banner. You complete me for sure. The clock chimes 10, 16. That's our doorbell. It's my turn to decide who gets in the door tonight. Sebastian, please. Last time you let in Jessica Marinaccio. Oh, hey guys, wait. I have to ask you a question. Uh, so you look down and you see a tortoise it's crawling toward you. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over, but it can't. Not without your help, but you're trying and not helping the poor tortoise. Why is that? Um, 
Because the tortoise was in the marching band? Magnifique. So, how did you gals meet? Um, uh, class. Class. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, what's the real story? For example, I met my high school boyfriend when I was sent to the office for a dress code violation. <gasps> a bad boy? He was the vice principal of Spence. Wow. Oh, Your no. turn. Um, AJ and I actually met at the University Student Life Speed Riding. Yeah, on the seventh yeah. floor of the nursing building. She was reading Yates, I was reading Keats. Oh, I liked Ayn Rand, she liked Lovely the Band. Love at first thinly veiled networking mm. event. <laughs> oh, and afterwards we went to Le Pont Quotidien and we spoke for four hours. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. As you may know, my father has been looking high and low for a student just desperate enough to rep Aramark on this campus. And he's prepared to raise his offer substantially. I won't say the price, but let's just say it's well above the cost of horse upkeep. <laughs> so if you run into an indigent, give him a winnie. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. <gasps> of course I'll do that. Oh, just a sec. Mm. I need to go check what Oliver's doing. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, rar means I love you in dinosaur. <laughs> oh, please don't ever say that to me okay. again. Oh, God. <laughs> so, I've heard, and correct me if this is wrong, but... You guys have a modern dance studio in the in the basement, so so let me know if you like this. Hey, wait! Oh my God! Wait, is it true that your dad was really indicted for human trafficking? Excuse me. I'm so sorry. He he I, knows your dad got acquitted. He just pre-gamed really hard, and he's on drugs, very hard drugs. Hard drugs. Now, is it true that someone in your house bought the rights oh to God. Pablo Escobar's huh. wife's life story? You guys have a good night. Not so fast, buddy -o. You and me, we are going to be beautiful friends. No, we are definitely not. Get your grubby hands off me, piss boy. Uh, Oliver, you have to let him go. I seriously think your friend peed himself. No, I I just used your bidet with my pants on, and I put on all your whitening strips. Look at him shine, baby, like the top of the Chrysler building. Get the fuck away from me. Get out of my house. Oh my okay, showtime, baby. Oh, what the hell is this horrid noise? John Zorn? This is not on Sebi's classy party playlist number three. Turn that blasted music off. Turn it off! Oh, quit your whining, you plebs. Boo-hoo, your little dubstep debauchery is through. Cry me a river. Cry me, cry me. Enough. You know, when my father went to school here, students didn't act like this. They still had a shred of self-respect and didn't smell of piss. Back in the day we had our way, the hall eclipsed the rest. But now we're just a discount ADP at best. Saint Anne.
Anthony Hall has suffered a fall. Our noble name no longer towers tall. Our former esteem is now but a dream. We're but some more jokes than the football team. The floors are slack, the spores attack. And if that wasn't bad enough, the pores are back. To make the mold and litter Go back to gold and glitter We must prevail again But the question is when? We've suffered a strain We're short on champagne We're snorting Splenda after we ran out of cocaine We long for the day of swanky soirees when sex on the chaise was the hottest craze but now our glitz is on the fritz it's a wretched new milieu in olden days of plenty you didn't need 1020 the hall was just the spot now look at what we've got in the Grand Salon. What a joke. Hey, say, nay, say, what's going on? These putrid mass, they have no class. I wish they would behave. Perhaps if I could show these swine the proper way to a suffered a fall but now it's time to rise again and show them all bring out the today ring in the passé with history to heed we'll be a-okay we'll stand astride the whole west side blow the horn and beat the drum our past will the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Now, the daily devotional. So I walked back to my room and collapsed on the bottom bunk, thinking that if people were rain, I was drizzle, and she was a hurricane. The sun also rises. Hemingway. Did we do it? Did we save the society? Oh, no, you <gasps> idiot. We ruined it even more. They stole our prized collection of interim provost Ira Katz Nelson's baby teeth. Our what? <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> what? What? That coat is ugly. This coat fills me with sadness like butler. No, not you, Butler. The library. It is sad, no? I'm sorry, guys. It's her friend's backup coat. 
AJ left her goose here last night. Have any of you guys seen it? They were all stolen. Oh my gosh. Uh, excuse me? A robber took them. Have you guys seen uh, my phone? Uh, Butler! Wait, so are you concerned or... No. Our Montclair closet has been gathering dust all year. Yeah, mine too. Thank you. Oh. Oh. You guys are not going to believe this. Guess who we're raging with this summer? My dad gave his internship to Crazy Cousin Henry. <laughs> <laughs> crazy Cousin Henry. So crazy. But so sexy. Where are you going? The bathroom. I'll come too. Is there room for one more? I'm scared to pee alone. Why didn't you stand up for me in there? What do you mean? Uh, well, you promised that that internship would go to a- <laughs> Go to a pledge. I didn't promise, AJ. He implied. Oh, well, so what's the point of all this then? If I'm never gonna have a real shot at these opportunities? Well, you will. It just takes time. You'll get the next one, Oh, maybe. will I? Duh, of course. Are, are you sure? I'm starting to get the sense <laughs> that these people are never going to think of me as, like, one of them. I don't know why you'd say that. They love you. You've been doing a wonderful job of blending in. Uh, maybe for a second, but did you see how they looked at me when I walked in without my coat? Yeah, because... Oliver's backup coat is like major uggo. No, no, I'm saying any old jacket would have said the exact same thing. What's that? Uh, that I can't afford a Montclair. Without that logo, I'm nothing like them. I'm nothing like them, Molly. AJ, calm down. You're panicking. I promise, if you play the part for long enough, it'll start to feel more natural. It's like the Lululemon bag says, fake it till you <sighs> make it. <laughs> and don't worry about the coat. I'll get you a new one as a birthday gift. My birthday isn't for eight months. Surprise! Happy early birthday! <laughs> Molly, I can't just let you buy me things forever. I think... I think Oliver might be right about the brand stuff. It seems easier than this. You know you can't pledge the hall wearing a freaking Shake Shack tracksuit, right? I thought you'd understand that by now. Okay, but what if I quit pledging? Just like the Lululemon bag says, no rushing a highly selective fraternal society, no problem. They don't say that, AJ. <sighs> they just don't. And this is because of Oliver? He has no clue what he's talking about. With the hall, you have a shot at connections and opportunities that Oliver can't even dream of. Just can't oh, I don't away. know. You kind of sound like a crazy conspiracy theorist. <laughs> St. A's is just some rich frat. I mean, there's got to be more ways to succeed. There's been a lot of weird shit this year, but there's no Freemasons Illuminati Brotherhood in 2020. <laughs> oh, well, there's that QAnon thing, but I'm pretty sure they can't get me a McKinsey internship. One second thought. I don't give a fuck what those guys do. Maybe I should email them, or... Hello? Oh. Earth to AJ? <laughs> Babe, I'm just trying to help. I love you. I, I know, but would you still, even if I wasn't pledging? <sighs> Don't be silly. I want what's going to be best for you. And what's best for you is what's best for us. I can tell that you're confused I hate to see you torn But I know the hall can give you The chance to be reborn If you're feeling melancholy Just remember you have Molly We're in this together Don't worry, trust me you 
There's a home for you right here, full of every luxury and grace. So then if you're scared of the hall, baby, don't be. If your head is still unclear, if you're ever feeling out of place, you don't have a reason though, so maybe don't be. Cocktails at the Jane, nepotism, summers in Palau. Where? Never mind, name it and we will provide. No, nothing can compete with the goods you get when you're elite. Uh, what? I, I can't seem to hear you. La 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 la. Oh, aren't you lucky you have me? I can help you navigate the world. If you'll only listen to me, you'll go far. If you don't be so stubborn, you won't be as lost as you are. But if really you insist, go on and spread your wings. And leave your silly girlfriend who buys you silly things. When the world decides to scorn you, just don't say I didn't warn you. Go on without me, you'll come crawling back right and see. No one makes it all alone, join the hall and you can get a start. But if you're so eager to make a fuss, don't be. They'll accept you as their own, if you let me help you play the part. Guess we have our work all cut out for us, don't we? Hopelessly naive, and I'd say a little sensitive. Couldn't get to the if you tried It's difficult, I know But you've really got a ways to go Babe, I've always been here for you Why can't you see that? A girlfriend who values me Why can't you be that? Mom, what was it all for? Gave my heart and where is all the thanks? Get a brand AJ Now don't be upset Sweet Cheeks, if I were dating a brand rep I could never show my face in the mansion again don't make me choose between you and the hall. Please don't make me. I won't. You can trust me. That's my girl. I'm thinking of you because I love At Shaking Crab, this succulent crustacean can be in your mouth any night of the week. Come to the Shaking Crab. Crabs for you and the whole family. Santander, H Mart, Predamon J, Jan of Art, Magic Tea, Rip Vine Cathedral of St. John Divine, Community Sweet Green, Moai's got a V and T, Famiglia Pink Berry, Artopol is goodbye. It's the battle of the brands. Now that's how you open a university life event. Take that, crazy rich Asians free screening <laughs> RSVP required. God, this is going so well. I'm fired up. We are going to be legends in our own minds. Cherished students, welcome to the very first annual University Student Life Battle of the Brands. Okay, you got this. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Okay. Also, I don't want to worry you, but I think my heart might be under attack. Should I, like, call Kava? No, I'll be okay. Uh, no offense, but... I'm so happy I'm not doing this. After everything, Molly's still got quite the spell on you. For the last time, she's not a witch. She's a Wiccan. It's different, I think. Whatever. You know what I mean. You know how I feel. Sorry I even brought it up. You've clearly made up your mind. You still don't get it. St. A's isn't perfect, but I know it's going to be... <laughs> I know it's gonna be worth it. I just have to be patient. When I'm at the top, I'll stand on solid ground. I won't have to worry and I won't get pushed around. All of the quit persuaded me to try and be content. I still need the one person. I'll be safe in the one person. Today, we're looking to find Colombia's most compelling brand ambassador. Now, as promised, 
Here are our titillating prizes. Third prize is an urn containing the ashes of Dean Crom's late Irish wolfhound, Oisin. Now, second prize is, drum roll please. An extra small shirt from the 2007 Columbia Tree Lighting. First prize is, drum roll please. $116,000 in cash. Pretty big, right? Oh my god. Okay, let's get this thing started. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Here they come now. Let's hear it for our brands. Oh wow, Patty Periwinkle, C's 21. Quite the nimble fingers. Just like me during my hand modeling days. That fell apart quickly. Just like my acting career. Let's see if someone is ready to take things to the next level. I'm like my Reddit boyfriend. Hi everyone. Meet my friend, Herb, the Panda Express Panda. Hi kids! Herb, what should we eat today? Let's go to Panda Express to get some delicious authentic Chinese food. Mmm, fortune cookies and cream cheese are in good. My favorite. Sounds delicious. If you eat enough, you might be able to prevent your crushing fear of eating soup. What? You can drown out the sinking suspicion, but none of your friends really like you. Um, hold on, guys. They just feel sorry for you. And maybe that's why they're on your left ear. Herb, please. I hope those two work it out. Unlike me and Milk Magnet 24601. And here comes our next contestant. Send me a sign. And I like matter to someone. Josh, you matter to someone. Well, what a talented bunch. Uh, really impressive stuff. I mean, last time I tried to yo yo, I gave myself a concussion and now I can't focus my eyes. Uh, well, if all the contestants have gone, we can announce the winner. Who could it be? Congratulations, AJ the Airmark Rep. You are our first prize winner. Oh, thank you so much. You have no clue how much this means to me. Young lady, your name will be forever recorded in the annals of time. Oh man, I think we'll be Zumba. Prepare for trouble. And make it double. The bell tolls. But for whom? Capitalism. Capitalism. St. A's, if you're watching this, know that your coats are going to very, very good use. Here at this Ballyhoo, brands are now the boss. Everyone's now bowing to the mill in Hagen Doss. Cast away your worries, comrades. Not As far as I'm concerned, the revolution's here. Things are looking great. Gonna lick them off the plate. Grab a seat. Time to eat. Now we'll have them hooked. Their goose will be cooked.
is a job well done and now that's a wrap we've worked seven days right off the map St. Anthony Hall has suffered a fall but soon will bounce back like a racket ball no longer ignored our glory restored you're taking the A train so all aboard just made a big mistake Soon you'll pay the price You should have stayed with me, babe And taken my advice Now you've got me wondering Whether or not we can be together Don't be surprised When this brand nonsense loses its charm Everybody needs a buddy For cheering you on through thick and thin What just happened? Did she really just go behind my back So she could win? AJ, you've got some work to do
Hey, would you put that out? Oh, my apologies. I'm feeding the Roomba. Outstanding. I thought the paperless press hadn't gone through. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Shut up, Eucalyptus. We're here for the rumble. I didn't believe you'd come. Thought you might be too busy desecrating a Burlington coat factory. Well, you thought wrong. I'm a Coles man, you feckless simp. Mm -hmm. At least I stick to my principles. Leather raindrop on you? An inconvenient truth, but this is vegan leather. Vegan leather? Is that the title of your sex tape? Oh, good. So you've seen it. Please! I'd rather go to a football game. <gasps> you can't let him talk to you like that. Relax. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but the words of an impotent trust fund princeling can never hurt me. Sebastian's impotence does not define him. Shut up! I can no longer tolerate your nude aggression towards my society. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm shaking in my ethically sourced boots. Go stick an apple in your mouth and let's play William Tell. Last I checked, you got cut from the archery team. At least I didn't get rejected from Blog. McCarthy is chill. Sickle and hammer, sycophant. Oh, you've done it now, you unqualified legacy admission. Do you think the worst I can do is make off with your outerwear? Well, think once more. I hate to see us so combative, but that's the way it has to be. And let's be honest, your society is just a fratty Adams family. Now, Raindrop, don't be strange. Can't use your gang to sham. Social change doesn't happen when you spam. Instagram, go and make a post. Write a rose me to say if you're that way. Sing a song of healing. Knit some socks and do a spin. You'll never win. You're so alluring when you're angry. I'd love to see you get more gruff. But in the name of pacifistic ideals, let's stop before we get too rough. Oh please, you claim to eat the rich. Talk about an old cliche. You don't save the world every time that you crochet. A beret, you'll be crushed for good. By the time I'm through with you. Music, you're just some dumb hippie psychopath who needs a bath. No one actually takes you seriously. You're just Michael Moore crossed with a circus clown. Well, Wall Street call. They want their walls back. Go on, Jester. Stuff you and your fools into your little clown Prius and drive far, far away. And I'll show you where you can stuff it. Boyhood summers spent together racing your father's sailboat around Hiana's port. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. No matter what boarding school threw my way, I knew you'd be there at the yacht club, standing on the docks waiting for me with your mast aloft. And then, one summer you weren't there. You were too busy getting tickets for the global citizenship. I was changing for the better. Changing for the good. And then, I found you here. When you think about it, we're really just two ends of the same snake. You we you. are nothing alike. You are everything I despise. What? Because I like pricey jackets? Please. If you're looking for a real show, go bother those kids running around in the CVS quarter zips. So fucking d class. Please, I hate them too. The depraved consumer culture is tummy turning. Well, you know what they say. The enemy of my enemy. Hmm. Interesting. What? What? Great creator, what? 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 Much like Ed Sheeran, 
I am simply thinking out loud. But if two people of considerable influence happen to hate the same thing, they could in theory come together to take down said thing. You and I could do a lot of damage together. Like the Edgartown Regatta all over again. If we work in tandem, there's no fight we cannot win. St. Anthony Hall shall rise from its fall When we put an end to our bitter brawl No longer alone, we'll show how we've grown And throw them a quite unexpected bow We're joining hands to squash the branch to be do be do but do The beatnik and the gentry With us now we know Boots will have them quaking in their boots Their time has come Got to be kidding AJ! What are you doing here? Uh, uh, I came to pick up some of my stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, how are you? Uh, I'm pretty good. I bought a new coat, <laughs> see? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, um, I, I got an E-Trade account. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Um. Oh, well, I put some money away for the MBA, so that's taken care of. And I finally got a new laptop, so, so long Windows Vista. Um, I, I got an Apple Watch with the alligator strap, just like yours. I signed up for a laundry service, bought a Kankin, one of those 3D mics with, with the ears on it so I could do ASMR if I ever, you know, felt like it. And tomorrow, I'm making Oliver come with me to look at apartments in the Enclave. And I bought a theremin. For some reason. It kind of sounds like a spaceship screaming, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of into AJ, it. I, just... <laughs> oh, wait, 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 check this out. Unlimited. How cool is that? It's so cool. Um... I miss you. Wait, Haley, did you know that Raindrop was rich? Well, yeah, duh. <laughs> well, he and Seb used to be besties. It's a whole thing. When Seb gets really wasted, he cries <sighs> about it, actually, which is kind of weird, I guess. Oh, I I saw them together. What? OMG! Honestly, though, that kind of makes sense. Go Sebastian! Oh, no, no, no. No, not like that. <laughs> I, I mean, conspiring with the posses and everything. They were... Talking about the brands. Well, that makes sense. They're not big fans. Oh, it sounded really devious. Look, I know you probably don't want to hear this, but if those two are up to something, you should probably just stay away from it. Look, not many people know this, but those two are kind of crazy. Uh, oh, what do you mean? I mean that if Seb and Raindrop are conspiring about the brands, it can't mean anything good. It would probably be smart for you to just drop Aramark. You have to be careful out there. <sighs> of course you'd say that. You can't stand that I finally made it. You made it? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, okay, fuck you too. Well, 100k is barely a drop in the ocean. And what are you spending it on? An instrument that screams? <sighs> You're so jealous of me. I swear it's not like that. Look, you don't know these people, and you're certainly not one of them. You know, I'm so sick of you and your people. You don't just get to control me, and I was wrong to ever let you try. It's their game, AJ. You're just playing it. And I'm never really going to win if every time I get an opportunity, it's taken from me. This brand is the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I'm not letting go of it. Not this time. Listen to me. People like Seb and Raindrop, 
they hold all the cards and they always have. Doesn't matter what you do, you just need to play by their rules the best you can and try not to get on their nerves. You're never going to win this, AJ. You know, you're right. I'm never gonna win. Exactly. Finally, now you're understanding it. I mean, how could I ever win? I'm just your poor little charity case girlfriend who doesn't know any better. How could I ever do anything all by myself? Say that. Uh, how could I ever think I'd make it without my generous, benevolent sugar mommy guiding the way? Uh, I'm so sorry. Please, take me back. I'll do anything to be your widow project again. You were never my project. <laughs> but it was fun when it started though, right? <laughs> Tell me it wasn't. Tell me it wasn't a thrill to be with someone who was so different from those boring trust fund bitches you were used to. It was wonderful. Yeah, but it couldn't last because we live in the real world. You remembered who you were. You remembered who I was. You remembered that you had to hide me, pave me over and make me into someone else. Someone that wasn't such a I was fucking embarrassment. You don't care about helping me, Molly. You don't care about what I want or my future. All you care about is how I look when I'm standing next to you. You don't know what you're saying. Oh, I don't? Oh, well, why don't you just take me out to lunch and explain it to me then? I don't even- they Just buy a big or mess sack to cover me- For God's uh -oh, sake, wait. AJ, will you just shut up for a second? Yeah, I'll, I'll shut up. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Yeah, bye, Molly. I'll, I'll see you at the top. Tomatoes, onion, meat, pickles, lettuce. Provolone cheese, coleslaw, subconscious, unlock your mind. Well, when you think about it, it really wasn't that bad. Okay, then, let's not think about it. Oh, seriously, Kristen. May I call you Chris? You may not. Well, my nephew's virtual bris was Zoom bombed, and he's okay. I mean, the Moyle got a little startled, and now my nephew might be missing a tad more than what God intended. But I mean, he seems fine. What? Too much information? Just a little bit. Oh, it wasn't just a little bit. Enough. I want this brand business cleaned up, you two. We'll get right on that, Chris. Yes, Dean Crumb. Make sure to run the plan by. Oh, thank God, I really have to pee. Josh, what the hell are we gonna do about this? I was just gonna go to the bathroom. <sighs> Emily? Hello? Huh, guess she got disconnected. <laughs> Great, now I don't have to mute. Thank you so much for responding so promptly to our meeting request. Wait a minute, um, how did he get a private invite link? I gave it to him. <laughs> Aren't you guys like arch nemeses? We are, but we're in an alliance Yes, now. an alliance. The A in LGBTQIA, if you will. <laughs> anyway, we are coming to you today with a proposition. Oh. Sorry, I gave up group sex for Lent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We just want you to help us help you. I think I gave that up too. What my associate means to say is that- Comrade, we agreed on comrade. Fine, comrade. What my comrade means to say is, come on, let's hear it. Okay, so raindrop, we were like, Totally inspired by you and your little friend's performance at the Battle of the Brands. Really? 
really, you guys are such powerful performers. That gave us like major Eric Holder vibes. Thank you, I went to Interlaken. You canceled all of St. A's. I mean, that's so cool, man. Like, goosebumps. I mean, literally, like, look yeah. at my arm. I mean, just like, look at this. That's eczema? Consider this. We can help you cancel all of the capitalists at our school. Oh, every single one. What would you two want with disposing of the man? You are the man! No, she's a wool man. Originally, we thought that our brand ambassador plan would boost student morale. As you've demonstrated, this has not been the case. We want to make this right by getting rid of all of the brands. Yep. Adios, brandos. We need something effective. Maybe even more effective than a university student life email. Yeah, you know, something that won't get sent to spam and low priority email digest. So to clarify, you want us to cancel the Columbia brand representatives via a transcendent multimedia experience such as the one that occurred during your poorly thought out virtual brand talent show? With full USL backing and support, of course. Oh, and by that, we mean you can use our Zoom account. Well, let's bless this mess. We'll do it. Oh, excellent. Now, what we were thinking was... First, I shall assemble my ragtag band of merry Marxists. Then, we shall synchronize our Zoom backgrounds. Oh, sweet inspiration. How's this for a moniker? The shaming of the brands. Oh, very good. Now, uh, that's very good indeed. Oh, okay. So, you're really going to take the lead on this one? Uh, certainly. <laughs> Every day, I regret not throwing the first brick at Stonewall. <laughs> Now, if you must, you may reach me over Facebook Messenger. Good morrow, comrades. Good morrow. You know, my, uh, my pinko pal, I'm starting to believe in karma. How so, my dirty little bootlicker? Well, yesterday, for the first time in my entire life, I gave a dollar to a man on the street. Naturally, the panhandler was so grateful for my generosity that he gave me a flyer for a shop that sells submarine sandwiches. And now we've been given the perfect opportunity to fulfill our greatest mutual desire. To annihilate those tacky brand kids once and for all. In the words of your comrade Lenin, instant karma. I did not understand a single word of what you just said, but I loved the general vibe in which it was spoken. Uh, you are very kind, comrade. Would you maybe, uh, uh, you know, want to, I don't know, hang out after this? Oh, I'm sorry, I cannot. My collective and I have a reservation at Jacob's Pickles. It's Famine's birthday. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Sebastian! Come quick, Butler has passed a kidney stone, and it is disgusting. You must see. So then I said, hey, what's the deal with airplane food? <laughs> say this in English, very pathetic pledge candidate. Oh, this is the guy who started the Ruggles fire. You remember him? No, he included a picture of clothing draped over an electric halogen lamp. Oh, I know him. I've seen him in my dreams. Isn't this Julian Assange? Merday. We get everyone's code stolen from one party and suddenly our only pledge candidates are arsonists and asylum seekers. 
God, our society's declining faster than my grandpa when we were feeding him elderberry cyanide to accelerate the inevitable. In Europe, this is called Merci Kill. <laughs> oh, my Katy Berry vinyl single has finally arrived. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? What is this boom doing in our mansion, Zoom? S settle down, Zlad. Raindrop is a friend now. A special friend. Former foes, let us not come to blows. We come bearing a big GoPro. A what? A kid bozo. A Bong Jun ho I think you mean we have a quid pro quo. Ah, yes, we have a deal. We do not negotiate with coat terrorists. Veronica, this coat terrorist is my special friend. Yes, let us hear what he has to say. I like the way he looks. Thanks, I'm wearing Girl by Pharrell Williams. With that being said, let me fetch my deputy. Uh, sprout, fresh from the soil, my liege. Hello. Good sprout. Former enemies, Sebastian mm -hmm. and I have just been given the go-ahead by the university to decimate the brands. Mm. Cartago de Lenda Est. Mm. Um, mm, fearful leader, if it was possible to cancel the brands, wouldn't we have just done so by now? Sprout, I expect such cheek from eucalyptus, but you, forsooth, and also for truth. That is a good point. Hmm. Silly Gooses, the only reason you have not been able to cancel the brands yet is because you have not thought about it in the wrong way. You cannot take on the businesses directly. No, they are like Andre the Giant, too strong, too strong. Mm -hmm. What you need is to, how you say, get the 411 on the students who represent them go after the little guys Ooh, the sacrificial lambs <laughs> Zlab, what an inspired idea international students we get the job done wait aren't you from paris ohio we should cancel the starbucks rep he made fun of my mom for being blind the dos toros rep yelled it's time for the running of the bowls and pushed me down low steps. No, nobody really ate those brands. We need a brand that everybody has to eat, or we will be cancelled I... for cancelling the brand. I have a remark. A remark, huh? A remark, a remark. A remark? A remark? Me? No, we must cancel the Aramark brand representative, the girl. Ah, uh, yes, AJ, Atticus Jinch. Can it, Dunce? Well, AJ, uh, whatever her last name is, is one of your known associates. So tell me, what potentially damaging intelligence have you got on her? She doesn't recycle. Okay, but that's not scintillating enough. Come on, I've heard the stories about you guys. I know you can do better than that. No extramarital affairs with politicians? Animal abuse? Tax evasion? We don't know anything, really. But one of our members, uh, Molly, she would. She would literally never tell him. They were in love, like Le Vian Rose by Edith Piaf. All right, then. You know what you have to do. I can be reached via Facebook Messenger when the time is right. This is fun. <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Fellas, we've sacrificed too much. I'm not letting this society go down without a fight. Molly! Get on to Zoom! What? What? Did Zlab get his arm stuck in the pool table again? Because I don't have any butter left. Uh, we have a question about your ex-girlfriend, AJ. Wait, have you seen her? Is she here? No, stupid. We just need you to tell us if she's ever done anything immoral before. 
or uh, illegal or intriguing in a bad way. Why? Because we are trying to make this campus respectable. No gaudy brands, no unsightly displays of destitution. So, we need the hot goss on your Rex to engineer an agent of her eventual destruction. Oh, well, that's a lot. Um, I haven't heard anything, but I'll definitely let you know if I do. Okay, gotta go, bye. Come on, you dated for a year. You never saw her do anything irresponsible? She never snuck into Ferris holding a plate from the garbage? She never took all of the free tampons from Hamilton when it wasn't even her ladies' time? She's never forgotten which black suitcase was hers at the airport and then instead took all of them? No, she's never done any of those things. And even if she had, I still wouldn't betray her like that. But I thought you two broke up. Girl, this is your Carrie Underwood moment. Destroy her car. It doesn't just work like that. Although she may not feel the same way, I don't hate her as a person just because things didn't work out between us. Molly, let's have a little chat about loyalty. I know you're feeling certain doubts, that's clear to see. Make no mistake though, Molly, we're your family. We're always here for you, so now it's time you're here for us. We've all made sacrifices, hard they may be, to keep our status in society. You have to give things up to stay on top, so let's all discuss. I had a dream when I was young that I would be a champion wrestler of WWE. I learned to elbow drop and smash into every wicked move. <laughs> Oh, so discontent. They said, we'll cut you off without a cent. Unless you ditch that trashy redneck for cause we don't approve. What did you do? So I just obeyed them. So I just agreed. Now my parents praise and pamper me with every gift I could need. If you find you are wrestling <laughs> with a you gotta give it up so you can keep your family's esteem. I had a poodle that I raised since I was ten. She was my best friend in the world, Mont Petitian. But then one night she bit the leg of my future prep school dean. The Mansour was over as our dinner guest because he helped me pass the entry test. He said, give your beast away or I'll have your scores wiped clean. And then what? Said goodbye to Fifi. What was I to do? If it meant you stayed in private school, you did your dog away too. Maybe you love something. Love its furry face. Maybe you should keep it up so you can keep your future in place. Back in high school, I was dating Bethany. She had a club foot and eyes as blue as the sea. I take her out each night to dine a the candles glow. Haikus while snuggling in the grass But Bethany was middle class So when I joined the hall I couldn't bear the shame So I sat her down on the bench and I said I have to break up with you because my rich friends say I can't hang out with poor people anymore And then she started crying and then I started crying And that only made her cry more And then the halal guy asked if we wanted a two-for-one combo platter special Sebastian, are you alright? Of course I am, okay? Could a sad person do this?
teach the body slammy, honey. If you want your private school and prospect, so your dogs go to it. If you want the hall's approval, see your soul is with your mom. Give it up, give her up, give her up. If you want to stay as one of us, give her up. Hey. Oh, all right, where is it? What? The, the, the pigeon, the, the pigeon, I, I, I don't know what they're called, the, the baby pigeon. Mm, okay, I only said that because you weren't picking up. You lied? About a baby Come pigeon? Come on, Oliver, everyone knows that baby pigeons don't exist. <laughs> are, are you serious? I left my general chemistry for playwrights midterm for this. Mm, sorry. Whatever. Uh, wait, 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 Oliver, I really need to talk to you. S sorry, I, I'm really busy. Come on, please, five minutes. I'm losing my mind. Okay, whatever. What okay, is it? So, last night I went to St. A's to get my tooth grinding guard back from Molly, and I saw the performance art group and Sebastian bashing the brands together. Apparently, Raindrop's been rich this whole time, and also his relationship with Sebastian is either really platonic or romantic. Extremely unclear. Okay. Um, anyways, Molly told me that she thinks that they're plotting something, something sinister. I get this. She told me to drop the Aramark sponsorship. <laughs> Can you believe that? She really thought I'd fall for that. It's for your own good crap. Like, the minute I start thriving, she just wants to rip it all away from me. Wow, that sure is crazy. Bye-bye now. Hey, okay, what's your problem? Honestly, I don't even know why you're upset about this. You never cared what anyone had to say before. Um, excuse me? People talk, you don't listen. Oliver! I begged you not to rush St. A's. I, I told you it wasn't right for you. I, I told you you should get a brand instead. You have ignored me the whole time. Okay, well, I got a brand. Only when that prize was right in front of you. You, you didn't trust okay, me. That's not fair. I had to do what I thought was best for me. And it was just... <laughs> so that means ignoring the people who care about you and, and repping a scummy brand that could put you in danger. Got it. Hey, anything to get to the top, I okay, guess. Okay, well, I have a life to build. And, and what are we doing here, then? This is real life, too, you know. Well, I have to think about my future. College shouldn't be like this. We, we should be laughing and eating cold Chinese food, cramming in the snacks at 2 a.m. before our macro well, final. I can't afford to do that anymore. I'm so far from where I want to be, and I have to keep going. I have to keep fighting for myself because no one else is going to do it for me. Really? No one else? No one? Okay, I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean it like that. Please, come on. You know, you're, you're my person. And you know this. <laughs> AJ, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. I'm doing great. And I would really like it to stay that way, which is what I've been trying to tell you and Molly this whole time. You don't seem great to me. I, I, I didn't mean to go off on you, but it's, it's just hard for me to see you like that. I don't want to talk you out of your dream Cause if anyone can make it, I know it's you But you can't just keep going With no sign of slowing down at all Or you'll fall Sometimes it's okay to let up At Columbia, it's easy to feel Like you'll never be enough till you've done it all Like you never can rest still You're better than best That's not true That's not you AJ, it's okay to slow down You've got to Your life, it's not a race, so take it at a steady pace each day. You've got time, time.
time to make new memories and time to be what you want to be. So there's no need to hurry. You've got this, don't worry. You'll see. Have you noticed how the hot sun shines blue? How the tree lights look like stars fell on college walk. You can sit on low sunny steps and worries you had through the day fade away. Once you take it in, then the world seems okay. You've got time. You've got time. You can live your life. It's not a race, so take it at a steady pace each day. You've got time to keep your friends close, and time to see the city, and time to make some time just for you. So there's no need to hurry. You've got this. Don't worry. You'll see. 'Cause I know you'll succeed in whatever you set out to be. Capable person I know. You're gonna do great. Just think about if this is how you want to spend your life. Okay, my, I gotta get back to my final. Talk later. Slow down, AJ. You got time. I've got time. Is she crazy? Well, I always do that all of her could never understand. I got time? Really? Who's he kidding? What's the use of trying to wonder where? He says I only care about where I'll be. He says I think of no one else but me. He says I've driven him and Molly both away, and I guess that's true. But I did what I had to do. Gotta get to the top, finish the race, work a little harder than that, pick up the pace. And if people get in my way, they better move. I can make it all on my own. I'm gonna prove I can be a self-made millionaire. So why then am I feeling that something more's out there? I've got a hundred k in the bank right now, but things don't seem to quite add up somehow. Every day I'm closer. To Missing something more to find. Now I feel I finally have something more in mind. Something more in Something to barrel through. Guess I forgot I could enjoy it too. 'Cause when I'm at the top, I'll finally stand on solid ground. But till that day ever arrives, each time I stopped and looked around, and so I'm gonna go enjoy the things I never could. Something's coming, something good. Can't stop.
at Columbia University. Welcome all to the first annual Shaming of the Brands. What the fuck? You told us this would be a silent disco. Disco is dead, you moron. No, disco! Tonight, we will reveal to you the flaw of the capitalist ideology through the shaming of one of our own, AJ Ginch. CC22. Bring her forth. I wash my hands of this. But you're the one doing it. Mortify her. What the hell? This is supposed to be an alumni and finance panel. Oliver, what are you doing here? I, I don't know how, but I thought this was that mechanical bull thing. I thought this was gender fuck. <laughs> well, surprise! You were bamboozled. As you may know, AJ here is the brand rep for Aramark. Boo! Hiss! Jeer! And for those of you who... For the unenlightened, Aramark is... Well, it... Aramark, it starts with an A... Uh... Why don't we like them again? They support the prison industrial complex, you nimrod! Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I just forgot. It, it's the industrial complex of the prisons! Um, guys, hate to break up whatever this is, but I'm not the Aramark rep anymore. I gave that up, like, two whole scenes ago. I'm not even wearing the shirt, see? <gasps> Veronica, did you know about this? Ugh, oh, no, I'm so sorry. I was busy this week. Megan, the actual stallion, caught mad horse disease. You didn't tell him? I thought you were going to tell him. Of course I didn't. This is my Poconos weekend. Mute yourselves, all of you! Now open the chat, my lovely boneses. This second, I am dropping a link to security footage of this Neo-Reaganite jumping a turnstile to access our complex network of underground communal trains. What? That was like, in September. Everyone knows time isn't real. Where does the corporate misconduct end? Our subways crumble below our feet. The one train goes out of service every weekend, forcing us to make the bleak trek to 96th Street. That's not my fault. But if we want infrastructure repair, we need everyone to do their part. We live in a society. Sometimes I just don't have the money. You seriously expect us to believe that? Come on, it's 275. That's like 50 cents. You just don't want to pay. 
Yes, when American individualists like AJ spurn the red hot glow of a collective future, we all suffer. Doesn't that make you sick to your tummy tum tum? Yes, it does. Also, I've been meaning to tell you, my fursona is Rum Tum Tugger from, from Cats. Okay, that's just strange. But anyway, people like AJ are despoiling our campus culture. These are the people who press closed door on the EC elevator when they see you are speed walking through the lobby. The people who wouldn't share their Frosai cheat sheet with you, even though you asked really, really nice. The consulting freaks who spill oat milk matcha latte on your suit and the line for the career fair so you can't make it to the PayPal booth on time. And now you have to work for freerice.com. The people who... Wait. Where'd she go? We weren't done shaming her. Are you serious? She left. Did you think she was going to stay and watch you humiliate her? We weren't humiliating her. We were speaking the truth. You two don't know anything about truth, and you certainly don't know anything about AJ. Well, we know that she's a cutthroat, heartbreaking shrew. All right, I, I won't lie. AJ can be cutthroat, but she's not the villain here. She's just a low-income student trying to do her best. Without financial aid, AJ and I could never have gone to Columbia. I'm thankful that we got the chance to be here at all, but just because we're here doesn't mean suddenly everything's fixed. It's still a struggle, even when you think you're doing everything right. I mean, AJ gave up Aramarket and you still decided to cancel. Look, I, I don't always agree with AJ's choices, but really it's no one's business how she chooses to play a game that's built for her to lose. And, and I promise, you're not going to save the world by coming after people for jumping turnstiles. Do you even know what capitalism or socialism mean? Your activism artwork or whatever this is. I it's don't... performance art. Well, sure, well, it's useless and it sucks. And you need to apologize now. <laughs> AJ, these two have something to say to you. Um, I... I guess I am sorry that this went so poorly. I, I only wanted to cancel you because I thought you were a tawdry brand rep. I actually like capitalism. I don't care if you're a cutthroat shrew. Oh, yes. Truthfully, Sebastian is simply a desperate dilettante whose decaying society needs any help it can get, what with its positively dismal recruitment prospects and all. Uh, for God's sake, I heard they were going to let in Julian Assange. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, well, Raindrop... Raindrop is rich. He's filthy fucking rich. His dad owns a zoo. It's not true. I mean, it is, but, but who cares? I'm an activist. I've met Bernie. Crap. Well, for some reason, I thought they were really going to apologize. It's all right. No, it's, it's not. I'm sorry for, like, everything. I should have never made you give up Aramark. I didn't want you to fight. I, I just wanted my friend back. I'm right here, Oliver. Always have been. But you were right. I was fighting too much. Maybe not. Maybe that's what it takes. It seems so hard. And it is. Like you're running, but someone keeps moving the finish line away. I need a break. I'm going to live a good life. In a lot of ways, I already do. And I know I'm going to succeed, but I shouldn't have to run myself into the ground to do so. Something needs to change, and it's not me. Everyone's been shitty, yeah, me, but mostly you. What made you assholes think the things you did were cool to do? 
We push each other down when we could lend a helping hand, when we could try our best to understand. I didn't try to understand. Oh, hey, Molly. Hi. AJ, I was selfish. I didn't know somehow. And I'm the reason why we're in this freaking Zoom right now. I wanted you to change for me. I couldn't do the same. I promised that I'll make Columbia, Columbia, Columbia. Columbia.